I know what some of you might be thinking. You're probably going to dislike this video and leave a comment saying, Oh God, no. Making commentaries again is an awful idea. And if you will do that, I don't blame you. But before you do that, please watch this entire video and hear me out. I have a reason to return to the commentary community, which I will be getting into later on in the video. But first I'm going to talk about why my old commentary suck, then I will talk about how I can improve, and then finally we will explain the reason why I decided I want to return. First off, I am going to tell you the reasons why my commentaries in the past sucked. Two of my most common targets in the past were the Irate Gamer and NC17 Productions. Their videos back when I made the commentaries were terrible. And I am willing to admit that they did make some good commentaries on those guys. But the problem is I did not grow up on the NES. I still like playing some NES games, but my point is I didn't grow up on it. And because of that I was really making commentaries on subjects I'm not entirely passionate about. I had no prior knowledge on these games when I did those commentaries. I had to play them myself to see if they're right or not. And that did take me a couple of days. But frankly I think I would have made much better commentaries if I did commentaries on something related to movies or Pokemon. Because that's the thing I'm passionate about and I was even passionate about that back then. But no, I mostly did commentaries on these two. The reason I did it is because every other commentator was doing it. Though I think that most of them were in more condition to make those commentaries than I was. So yes, yeah, some of my commentators on NC17 Productions and Irate Gamer might be good. But the fact that I had to spend so much time doing my own research proves that I had limited knowledge. And to be honest, you don't even need to be much of a gamer to notice the flaws of the Irate Gamers videos from the past and the NC17 Productions videos of the past. As for what I think of them now, well I don't want to make this video too long so I'm just going to move on. When I finally got around to making commentaries that are related to movies and Pokemon, I had no real points. These commentaries are basically First reaction videos without even thinking about if my points made sense or not. And obviously the commentary suffered for it. I know many people like this but let's face it, I had no real points. Saying the first thing that comes to mind is not the same thing as having a point. Having a point actually means thinking things through. I think the worst example of a pointless commentary was my commentary on the Smurfs toilet video. Some people think that I commented on it because I didn't like it. That was far from the case. I fucking loved the video. I had no reason to comment on it pretty much. I think the worst mistake I did in my commentaries was in late 2012. At that time I didn't make commentaries because I had fun with it. I tried far too hard to please the big guys like TOG Professor and Amscolo1 at that time. I tried more to impress them than commentating with my own unique style. And believe it or not, my commentary on Amscolo1's commentary on PM Rants was exactly that. I tried far too hard to impress others. And considering how much hate that commentary got, that backfired badly. I'm not making any excuses for it. It is a fucking horrible commentary and I am ashamed of it even to this day. Now that I've talked about the commentaries I made in the past, some of you might be wondering how I can improve on the commentaries I make. Well first of all, I'm gonna get into some of the guidelines and what material I shouldn't be commentating on. First of all, I shouldn't be commenting on ancient topics and trolls. I don't need to explain that one. Everybody who knows anything about commentaries knows why it's such a bad idea. It took me a very long time to realize that, but now I do. 
Cinema Sins and Honest Trailers are off limits too. Obviously all the arguments in Cinema Sins are flopped. But they are flopped on purpose since they are nitpicking for comedic effect. As for Honest Trailers, well they are basically parodies. I can't criticize on how I don't find the parody funny, but I can't criticize it for having flopped arguments, as they aren't supposed to be serious anyway. And of course it's also important to cut the parts from the original video that I have nothing to say about. And repeating myself, yes, that's also something I need to avoid doing. But I think the most important thing is to actually have a fucking point. I shouldn't comment it on a video just because I want to. I should comment it on a video because I think the arguments are flopped or I don't find it entertaining. I shouldn't comment it just because I disagree or argue with a video. I should comment it if the arguments or points don't make sense and it needs to be addressed why it doesn't make sense, in my opinion I mean. And the majority of the videos I will be making in June are about either Pokemon or movies. I will be making 5 commentaries next month in total and they will be made every Tuesday. Two of these commentaries are commentaries on videos from 2013. I know that some of you might be saying that that's a mistake and yes you would be absolutely right if I had nothing new or unique to say about these videos. But the thing about it is nobody has so far responded or commented on either videos. At least I can't find them. So yeah. Also just because a video is old doesn't mean that I can't make a good commentary. I will give you an example. Recently Super Funny Bros did a commentary on Confused Matthews re-review of Lion King. Which is a commentary made on a video that was 7 months old at the time. Which is over half a year. It did it because people thought it was an improvement but as Super Funny Bros proved that wasn't the case. And one of Master tb 10s first commentaries is a commentary on a video made exactly a year ago. And he had good counter arguments, so it worked. So if these two guys can make a good commentary on an old video, I don't see why I can't. Now we have come to the final part of this video. It's time to explain the main reason why I decided to return. Many of my viewers have told me that they miss my commentaries and want to see them again. I understand where you're coming from, but that's just a small reason why I returned. The main reason is because I noticed a lot of videos that I wanted to say something about with my voice. I'm not really speaking my mind when I'm writing text. More people will hear what I'm saying if I make a video about it. And if I made video responses and didn't use a clip from the original video, I would have to say over and over again, he said this, he said that. And honestly, that video would be pretty boring to watch. It would be much more entertaining if I included the clips and showed what was being said in the original video. So yeah, there you have it. I am going to end the video soon, but first, there are a few more things that I need to say. First off, I really believe that I deserve a second chance. Because I have proven with many of my videos that I can improve. My movie reviews used to be shit, but now everybody who watches my videos loves them. So I don't see why I can't improve. Also, keep this in mind that it's very important. I will not be accepting any requests for a commentary. The main reason is the fact that commenting on a video is not the same as reviewing a movie. I often have to spend weeks thinking about the arguments I would make and if they fit in a video or not. And trust me, I used most of this month thinking about just that for all the commentaries I'm making in this month. And since they won't be out until next month, I will have even more time for that. So yeah, every single commentary request that I get 
will be automatically declined. So don't even bother asking. I might accept commentary requests if there comes a time that I'm considered a good commentator, but as of now, I don't. Besides, I write the reviews of entertainment once a month. That should be more than enough for you guys. As for who I'm commentating on in June, well, I'm gonna leave it a surprise for the most part. The thumbnail of this video gives a clue what two of the people I'll be commenting on are. But don't worry, those are both people that I heavily respect. And my commentary on those two people will be very civil. I still think some of the points they made are flawed, but I'm still gonna remain civil and respond to those points in a respectful manner. Is there something else to say? Nope! I'm just gonna think about the next commentaries I'll make and think on the best way to make them good and worth watching. Well guys, that's all I gotta say. Thank you for watching, have a great day.